In this video, I am going to explain and demonstrate how we can use Kahoot for creating live and self-paced learning games. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform that makes it easy to create, share, and play learning games or trivia quizzes used in schools and other educational institutions. This platform can be used especially by teachers whether they are teaching in class or virtually. Kahoot will help them engage students, increase participation, and assess learning. Let us first go to Kahoot and create the quiz. Enter kahoot.com in the address bar. I am going to use a free account that allows me to create quiz questions, host and play live games, and assign student-based challenges. Click the sign up button if you haven't created your account yet. If you already have one, select the login button. I will enter my username and password. At the upper right, click Create button. On this pop-up window, click the Create button inside the new Kahoot square. Here, I am going to enter content into my learning game. I will type in a question, add choices, select the correct answer, Set the time limit for the participants to answer. I will leave the points and answer options as is. Remember that for the free account users of Kahoot, we can use either quiz and true or false type of question. I will add another question. This time, I will use the true or false question type. Enter the question in the text box at the top. Choose the correct answer. I will add a new question, enter choices, and select the correct answer. Suppose I'm done adding all the questions. Click Title text box. On this pop-up box, enter the title. We may add a description, and we can also assign the created quiz game to a folder. For now, I will save it on the main page first. We also have the ability to add a cover image, change language and visibility. I will not make other modifications. Click the Done button. If everything in the quiz has been finalized, Click the Save button. There are two options on how we can share the game for the students to join and play. Let's first talk about the first option. This is what we need if we are going to host and play live. Let's say inside the classroom or during the synchronous meeting. We simply click the Play button. On this pop-up window, click the Teach button. We can edit the settings. I would like to randomize the order of questions and the order of answers. Once ready, click the classic button. As shown in the instruction on the screen, students should go to www.kahoot.it and use this unique game pin. Let's say this is the screen of the student. He would enter the URL to the address bar and then simply enter the game pin and his nickname. In this mode, the players will go head to head using their own devices. For quizzes created in the free Kahoot accounts, a maximum of 50 players per game is allowed. At this point, let's go to the next option for students to play this game. As a teacher or the one who created the interactive quiz, we can assign it to players and they can answer it at their preferred time, so long as it is before the set deadline. This is how to make it happen. Click the Assign button. This will allow us to create a challenge. Challenge in Kahoot is defined as a self-paced game with questions and answers displayed on the player's device. This is perfect for students or workers on the go or those who can join the live game. Here we can set the date and time when players should complete the game. If you would like to prioritize accuracy over speed, then we can turn off this toggle switch. 
we can turn on the randomized answer order. Remember, for quizzes created by free account users, a maximum of 50 players is allowed to join. After clicking the Create button, this page will appear. We can review the details here. Copy the URL, share it with students so they can join the challenge up until the deadline. If you find this helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Please feel free to leave your comments, questions, and suggestions. Thank you!